This video is a follow up on my previous one which I showed you how to use this wonderful 6x6 medium format camera. Be sure to check out that one after you see what you can capture with this wonderful little beast. How practical is this camera as a handheld beauty? Let's analyse some photographs that I've taken with this with various film stocks to find out. My first ever attempt shooting in the street as you can see gave some immediate feedback which for anyone new to this might be a bit off putting. Fear not, not all first attempt strike gold and with practice you will become a pro using this camera. It is a leaf shutter but even the slightest movements by depressing the shutter will have an impact on the final image. You can see this shot was taken in the street. You can get around this issue by not just using the shutter release at the top of the camera but instead using the leaf shutter release from below the lens. The absolute best way to take tack sharp images is to place it on a tripod. It will need a 3 8 inch tripod thread and you can find these easily on eBay or a good photography store. Nevertheless if you are going to go for a real vintage vibe with no strings attached you can absolutely shoot away like this. Capture some classic and authentic looking images. If you're shooting landscapes no one will know when it was taken for sure. One of the great things about shooting on medium format is the density of detail you're able to capture with it. The 6x6 format also gives you a delightful square to work with allowing you to play around with the foreground and the background at the same time in different ways. I love how this double exposure of this tree and the landscape has come out. Kodak Triax is an exceptional black and white film stock. One of the biggest advantages of working with this film on this camera is the post-processing. You will be able to print this to a much larger size print without losing any detail. While looking through these images it really feels like being an observer looking through a window. You can really play with what to include and what to exclude in your image. You're already seeing the quality of the image that is being produced with this 70 year old camera. I don't have a Roloflex. I do have a Yoshika Mat 124G but I reckon there will be shades of difference if any between them compared side by side. Shooting handheld is definitely possible if taking care to work out the distance between your subject or the object. I remember taking this shot in Regent's Park. It was a quick shot. I had to crouch to about waist height and had taken this shot it would have been compositionally more balanced. Five reasons to shoot with this ice icon Netta. It is is a light elegant camera which is highly portable. The silver frame is sturdy and will stand the test of time. If well looked after it should last you a lifetime. The camera will force you to think carefully about what you're shooting so you become far more careful and meticulous about what you shoot. You will enjoy the process through which you will learn how distances work, shutter as well as apertures work in tandem with each other. Compositionally you will carefully frame all your shots which over time will result in in highly personalized work and hone your creative style. The large 6x6 medium format negatives or positives will give you high density detail. This is particularly important if you want to sell your prints online. The negatives will last a lifetime depending on how well they are kept. You can always scan and rescan to whatever size you want. It is probably the cheapest way to get into medium format photography. You can fetch one of these cameras online for about £30 and you're set. At the cheaper end you can grab a roll of film for about £3.50 to four pounds. The camera will help you to capture some highly nostalgic shots in black and white so if you're looking for a classic look this will be a great camera to start with. If you enjoy analog photography and want to try out medium format before leaping into it fully this is a cost effective way to do so. When researching for your own Zeiss Icon Netta make sure you buy a camera with the excellent bellows and a lens which has been well looked after. These two things are the most important when investing in such a camera otherwise you may end up with some disappointing results. Simply ask the person how has it been kept. If possible go and see the camera before purchasing it or alternatively go to a film photography store where you may be able to pick up a well serviced looked after one. All in all this is a fun and classic camera. If you can shoot with this camera you can shoot with any camera. Overall this is a fantastic camera to work with. If you dream to work with a 6x6 Hasselblad or even a Roloflex which will cost you thousands of dollars, pounds or euros this is an incredible investment. As the great Peter Lindbergh once said many photographers are fetishists. They're always talking about the camera and not about the pictures. I have an old Nikon it's perfect don't worry it's not about the camera. You can pick up a roughed up Zeiss icon for 6x6 for as little as £15 which personally I would avoid or as much as £50 for an overpriced one. You can find one which has been well kept somewhere in between those two figures. Want to learn more about photography or film then head up my 
my journal at asanabas.com forward slash journal. If you have shot with the Zeiss Icon letter, thinking about it or have film photography gems to share, then let me know in the comments below. Punch the subscribe button, get in touch. This is the second video of a two part series. So if you haven't watched the first one and want to learn more about how to use the Zeiss Icon letter, make sure that you click on the thumbnail right here. See you on the next one.